Hello everyone and welcome back to One Soccer. I am your host for today, Josh Deming, and today's video is going to be around a simple statement. The statement is, this is why you should be watching the Canadian Premier League. Now, for those of you who are following the league, you probably realize two things this season. One, the table is very tight. Seven out of the eight sides have an opportunity of making the playoffs, and two, this season, there's been some bangers, some absolutely incredible goals, and for such a small but growing league, it's really crazy to think. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at some of the best goals from around the league this season, and I'm going to give a rating, and I want your guys' opinion as well. Give me the rating down below in the comments, and without further ado, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub, and let's get into the episode now. I'm going to rate these goals on a scale from 1 to 10, so be sure down below to give your guys a score as well. So we're going to start off with Ozaze Di Rosario, and this was his first. First Canadian Premier League goal. It's a beauty. The ball's kind of going up in the air, and it just kind of a nice little touch onto him. He turns, and then he just lets one go. What a hit. Like father, like son. You got to know there's one thing about this kid is that he can shoot. And I'm sure this isn't going to be the only goal that we're, we're going to see in this in this list today. But what I really like about this goal is a couple things. Is just the fact that this he's playing as a striker in this match. And he just wants to be able to get the goal off. And he wants to be able to get a shot off. And he didn't think twice about this. Gets himself in a good position. Opens his body. And then bang. What a hit. What a goal. I think I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. There's a lot of like about it, but the number one thing is just the fact that he knows where he's going to do. He knows like exactly what he's going to do the second that ball leaves his foot. And it's just a good goal all around. I don't think it's even the best one on this list, but I think an 8.5 is going to be the one I'm going to go with. The next goal we're going to take a look at is Alessandro Hojarapur from Forge FC. And this one got some real social media interest. Some big accounts were sharing this one as the ball is whipped in and it just falls. And look at the technique from Alessandro Hojarapur. That is why Forge brought him in. That was an absolute screamer. From the first instance, if I'm comparing it to De Rosario's, I mean... There's a few things I like more about it. It's just the technique. To hit it first time like that with a little bit on the outside of the foot. Just a clinical finish. So I think for that reason, I'm going to have to put it a little bit above D Rosario's. But if we get another look at it, it's a good little ball. Falls kindly from him. Look at the way he just takes it. Bang. Just like, honestly, like a little chipper the way he smacked that. But I'm going to give that an 8.8 .8 out of 10. The next goal we're going to take a look at is Brett Levi's from Valor, and this one was a beauty. It was in a hammering. Valor absolutely ran over Atletico Ottawa 6-1, but look at this goal. Goes around a couple, uses his footwork there, gets an absolute peach off. What a goal. There's so much you got to like about this goal. The strength to get around a few players, the footwork to set himself up. And for me, if you put a goal like that post in, you just add that little icing to the cake. And because of all that combinations, I think I like this goal more than De Rosario's as well as Hoja reports. But we need to take another look at it just to really see how many players he skips by here. As the, it's, again, it's just got a little bit of everything. Look at the way bodies off this player. Yep, one. There's two. We're going to take a little, yep, excuse me, three. And then bang. There's so much to like about that goal. For me, that's the pick of the litter right now. I'm going to go 9.1 out of 10. The next goal we're going to take a look at is Corey Bent from Halifax. And if there's something you need to know about me, it's the fact that I love a good free kick. And when you're looking at this one, I mean, immediately it's a good chunk out, but he hits it with pace. It's dipping down away from the keeper. What a hit. What a goal. It was a really, it was a really nice one. And then, the, the, I mean, come on, if we're going to count the, the little, little dance after, you got to get that in there as well. A lot of technique behind this one. It was a beautiful goal against the league leaders as well. There's just so much to really enjoy about this. We're going to have to take a look at it again because I'm trying to come up with a percentage in my mind. But look at the hit over the wall, dipping down away from the keeper. He's fully stretched as well. Cannot get close to it. Cleanly beats the keeper. There's a lot to like. A lot to like about that one. It's got to be a really special free kick, I think, to, to be top of the list here. But this was still a very, very good one. I think I'm going to go with... An 8.6. Doesn't quite stack up. Really nice free kick, but I think we've seen a couple nicer goals so far. The next goal we're going to take a look at is Gianni Dos Santos from Pacific, and this one was a beauty. It all starts from a corner kick. It gets whipped in. Cleared somewhat poorly away where Dos Santos comes and takes it, and look how far out he is. 
He's like, yep, nope, I'm taking this one on myself. Dos Santos, that one is absolutely beautiful. Everything about it. I mean, just to have the the ambition, the drive to take it from that distance is absolutely insane. I felt more than likely most players would have just floated in across trying to get a head on it, something like that. But he knew exactly what he was doing. He said, pick that one out of the net. I think this one right now is the pick of the litter. I think it has to be because look at this on replay. I mean, it's a, it is a poor clearance, but Dos Santos, look at it. And you got to assume like he's facing away from goal. But he's like, nope, I'm going to take this here. A little kick out and then bang. Hit with Venom. That is a absolutely... That's a Galasso. That is what that is. And I think that's going to top it. I'm going to say a 9.3. 9.3 for that one. That is the lead right now. That one blew me out of the water when I was watching it live. So, I mean, call me a little biased, but I do remember falling out of my chair in that one. The next goal we're going to take a look at is Toby Warshevsky from FC Edmonton. And I'm sure every single one of you remember this goal. It was something special. Late in the match, it's a corner, whipped in, and then look at this take to flick it up to himself. Bicycle kick. Keeper wasn't even close to make it 1-1 and rescue a point for FC Edmonton. Now, if you remember the weather conditions, they were not very nice. It was windy. It was difficult. And to do this late in the match in the pretty much final kick of the match to rescue a point for FC Edmonton. It had Wheeler out of his seat. He almost fell over. I almost fell over. We argued it was probably the greatest goal ever scored in the Canadian Premier League. Platt didn't really think so, so much. So I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Let me know down in the comments if you think this is the greatest goal ever in the Canadian Premier League. But look at that take. The technique to flick it up to himself and then to get the bicycle off in the dying embers of the match. I don't know. I don't think I could say that I've seen a goal quite like that in the Canadian Premier League before. I know there's been a few good ones, but for me, that's top of the litter. I don't know how it gets much better. So I'm going to go 9.6 out of 10. The next goal we're going to take a look at is Oliver Minatel from York FC. And again, this one was a beauty. Early on in the match, in the 34th minute, you see Isaiah Johnson doing some good work there. And then just gets in a hopeful cross, and it's just the header. There's something about this goal. That is not an easy header to complete. Scores against his former club as well, so there's always that little bit of extra to it. It was his first goal for the club, but there's something about a glancing header that can just make you wonder, like, man, how did you pull that off? Because it is a very difficult trait to have. And if you see Isaiah Johnson getting into space here, finds a couple nice touches, gets himself open, and then look at this. This really should not go in. And just a glancing header, perfectly placed. It is a beautiful, beautiful goal. Probably not one of the best ones because we've seen some beautiful ones today. But that is a very difficult one. And because of that, I'm going to go with a rating of 8.1 out of 10. The next goal we're going to take a look at is from Ozaze de Rosario. And it's his second one on this list. But when you're scoring for fun, you're bound to find a couple really nice ones. And that's exactly what happens here. As it's a really good ball. De Rosario does well to take it down. Nice little touch from Abzi. And then De Rosario is like, yep, I will take it from here. And look at the technique once again. I know I continuously talk about technique, but De Rosario just likes to shoot. And he can do it. And he's shown it with both goals that he's had on this list. He takes a look. He takes a hit. And it's in the back of the net as quickly as you like. There's so much pace on this right foot of his. And if he keeps up at this pace, man, he's going to be scoring some really good goals over the year just like his father did. But let's take another look at this one. As it's a nice ball ahead, De Rosario is the first one who ta takes it down, puts it over for Abzi. Nice little touch back to him. Head up, takes a look, and he's like, yep, here we go. And it's just hit with so much pace, so difficult to do. It's a beautiful goal. Again, our list is getting really hard. I think this one was about as good as his first one, so I'm going to give it a somewhat similar rating, 8.7 out of 10. The next goal we're going to take a look at is Sean Rea from Valor. And this one has a little bit of controversy around it because we don't know if it's a really, really good goal or a pretty decent goal with a goalkeeping error. But look at the run. Takes a look up. Takes a shot. And what a finish. To be able to take it from there on full stride caught my attention right away. That is not easy to do. Sean Ray deserves a whole bunch of credit for the initial run to go up the pitch like that, spot the keeper off the line, and put it in. But I think because keeper was in no man's land, it really raises some question whether this was a really good goal or just a decent goal with a huge, huge air. You guys be the judge. I just, there's so much for me that I like about it. Starts in their own end, and then look at this run. Picks it up, takes his head up, t shows his speed there, takes that look, and then bang. And then the accuracy. I mean, it's... It's a great goal. I think I was I was a little uh, 
little prisoner of the moment when it when it began with not, not gonna lie because I, I really liked so much about this but in all honesty I've kind of taken a little step back from it. I think it's still a very, very nice goal. It's going to be up there for me, but I think a rating of about 8.8 .8 or 10 is probably more realistic of where it needs to be. The final goal we're going to take a look at today is Dean Abzi's goal for York FC. And once again, a beautiful hit. York has had some really good goals this season. Nice little touch on there from right. Finds Abzi. One take, bang. The pace behind it, the technique. Once again, York can score some goals. You cannot take that away from them. This one caught my eye for a few reasons. I know how good Abzi can be down the left-hand side. He's got one really good left foot on him. And he showed that in full vision there. I'll take another look at how the goal happened. Really, really good hit. Lots of good celebrations in that nice kit from York United. But it was a good goal. It was something that I really, really enjoyed watching. And I think that it won't be as a I probably put it similar to the type of goals that De Rosario scored, but if you take a look at it, nice interception there. Finds a quick little counter, beautiful ball. De Rosario leaves it or loses it for right. Nice little touch there from Abzi, and then just a rocket. Unstoppable shot. Similar to some of De Rosario's, so that's probably where about I'm gonna put it. So I'm gonna go with that one. 8.9 out of 10. So there you have it, everyone. If you have not been watching the Canadian Premier League this season, you are missing out. There has been so many beautiful goals, so many more from the ones that we saw today. But from the clips that we did saw, Toby Warshevsky is the winner for me. I gave him a 9.6 out of 10. I think that's deserved. It honestly could have been a little bit higher. So let me know down in the comments if you guys agree with me or if you have a different pick. And if you do, let me, let me know why, because there has been some really good goals this season. But that one is the one for me. And if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub as well, because we're getting very close to 50,000 subscribers. So if you want to help us get there, dropping a sub will definitely do that. Also, be sure to subscribe over to One Soccer for all things Canadian soccer. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers, friends.